Another indicator is the presence of a very rare keystone species. This is the last place in Europe where a European bison can be seen roaming free in the forest, in the fields. And uh, I think you can call it a success story. European bison disappeared from this area. The last one was shot about 100 years ago, but people realized that this is a problem and they made efforts to reintroduce this species. So um, now we have about 700 bisons roaming the Ovisha forest and um, I think they have quite large role in the ecosystem. Bringing the bison back has helped make Bialoviesha as natural as possible. They spread seeds over long distances and maintain open spaces, creating a variety of habitats for other species. This is how biodiversity works. So uh, the more complex a uh, forest is, the more resilient against different changes it will be, against different environmental pressures, which is really important now in relation to climate change, because the more complexity there is, it's easier to adapt to new conditions. Because even if one species with some particular function in ecosystem disappears because of climate change, there will be other species that take over this function. This complexity gives the whole ecosystem a natural buffer, helping it to cope with any disruption. A forest like this is likely to stay healthier. And natural forest is not a stable forest. It's not that you always have, let's say, 20% of spruce, 10% of pine and 30% of oak. It is changing with time. It's a very long process, but it's changing. I think also that's why it's quite important to keep the forest like this as a place of research where you actually can learn how things work and the different connections between species. And I would say that this is why biodiversity decline is such a worrying thing, because if we have less biodiversity, the ecosystems will be simpler. They will not be that complex as they should be to be able to withstand uh, different pressures like climate change.